Hey guys, welcome back. Ashley, you want to say hi? Hi. We are on a little scavenger nat nature hunt. We're on this little side road by our house. No cars come up and down this, so don't worry. We are on a search for a stick like this. It's really tall. It's probably it's like, it's taller you know, than probably mine. five, six feet, six feet tall. It's taller than mine. Yeah, it's taller than yours, huh, okay. Ash? Right? I just found it. Because I have some craft projects that I'm doing for church. And uh, try and cut costs wherever you can. And when you live in the middle of the forest, you got free wood if you want to go and get it. So we're going to lug this thing home. I'm going to cut it. <laughs> it's a little bit of a workout. This is the long hill. This is the heavy branch. But we're going to do it, right, Ash? Yeah. So let me stop for a second to put my camera away here. And explain. Sorry, <laughs> we've been going up and down this hill as well because the neighbor dog, they live like down in these trees, yeah. like totally by themselves. It's like, it's Abby's friend. Yeah, it's Abby's friend that used to go to school. Now they homeschool seven kids, I think. Yeah. But their dog gets out like twice a week. So while we were down here, the dog got out. We had to take the dog down the trail in the woods back to their house. So we're a little out of breath because we've been doing this for a little while. But also, you may not notice a gap in time, <laughs> but today is Saturday. We did not film Thursday and Friday. Jason and I were home There's half of the day together. There's a bee right by you. There's a bee, sorry. Jason and I were home together half of Thursday and then our employees were having problems. We own our own business if you're new. So our employees were having problems. He had to go to work and then that is ultimately going to result in firing the person we just hired. Mm -hmm. So he is he worked yesterday, he's working today. So anyway, it put a damper in the mood. We also have some things that are kind of going on with the family. We're kind of struggling with some discipline and stuff with one of our kids, I'm not gonna say who, that resulted in a punishment and consequence that really kind of, kind of controlled our day. <laughs> And so, kind of, a lot of things kept piling up that made us not want to film for two days. So, that's fine. It's kind of our choice. I um, it's not going to put us behind by any means. So, you get me like this <laughs> on a Saturday. The kids have kind of half done their chores. I'm done with it. These two, Abby and Ashley, have done hers. I think Chelsea's done yeah. by now. Um, so, I'm already a sweaty... It's really muggy today. So I was like, ah, let's just get some stuff done. And then I'll take a shower tonight. I might try and see if my girlfriends want to go out tonight. Because I know one of them is really stressed with work. And probably could use some time. But we'll see kind of how our day goes. I don't think Jason and I will go out. Because I think he's really tired. So all right, I can't do the camera thing. And this vlog. <laughs> we'll see you at home. Okay, pull it. You got it, go. You, you had it better the other way. All right. You can see I've got this stack here cut. I've got a few back there. And then I've got a few down here on the floor. And I still have that whole branch to cut right there. I'm gonna get as far as I can on this guy. I'm gonna work my way clear to here if I can. And then this is probably just gonna be junk. All right, there's my final pile. Got quite a few. So now we get to see what I'm gonna do with it. All right, so we got cleaned up. Chelsea's playing with her friends down here. Yes. Ashley's upstairs. Fan, working on a little project. Again, I'm gonna show you all the supplies. We have to wait for the tutorial. All right, so I turned the fan off so you can hear me a little bit better. I've gotta put this project together 
along with a couple more today because I'm trying to display them at church tomorrow. So I might be a little bit MIA if I get a project done that is a little bit easier and doesn't need a tutorial type video done. I'll show you what I do with that one is if I get time to do that one. I don't know. I've got to go to Hobby Lobby and I'll probably bring you along there. Ashley really wants to go to Hobby Lobby. But I haven't had lunch yet. I'm anxious to get some projects done. I don't think I'm going to have enough time today, but we're just going to start and get done what we can. So here we go. All right, you can kind of see there a little sneak peek of what I've been doing. I'm kind of at a standstill because I'm waiting for glue to dry and I don't have... Cookie? Yes, you can have a cookie. And I don't have any glue sticks. So... Ashley and I are going to run to uh, Hobby, Lobby. Hobby Lobby. I was going to go to Michael's, but I actually like Hobby Lobby better. <laughs> but we never go to Hobby Lobby. I feel like they have more like tools. So we are going to go. The other girls are playing. I haven't seen Abby since she did her chores this morning. Are my shoes right here? Perfect. All right, let's go to Hobby Lobby and see what trouble we can get into. Right, Ashley? Where is she? What trouble can we get into at Hobby Lobby? Lots? Mm -hmm. Lots. Lots of trouble. Yep. All right, Ashley's been really, really good here. Ashley, show them that little squishy. Wait, I want to see how much it is. I know. I'm just letting her hold this little squishy really quick while we show you what we got. I want to. Because we're not getting the squishy. You know that, right? I want to know. Wanna know. Wanna All right, see. so I got this little piece of wood because I don't want to go to Lowe's today, but I will for the final project. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got a sewing hoop yeah. and these cute little joy to the world wood decals and it's then a nine. thankful wood decal and some glue sticks it's so all right Ashley and I are back home and she's caught in the little crafty bug so she pulled out her paints well they're my paints yeah, she pulled out paints and she's gonna paint. are you gonna paint a stick again yeah, I, I, no, kind of, I wasn't, I just painted a tiny stick. Oh, okay. See, uh, so she found a new stick on our walk today. So she's going to paint that guy. And I'm not going to do a tutorial for the one little thing that I'm doing right now. So I thought I would just kind of show you and walk you through it now. Because I don't want to like go to the effort of a whole tutorial because it's seriously so easy. So let me just show you that really quick. All right, so I have that little sewing hoop that I just got. And then I have a whole ream of uh, burlap. So I've got burlap stretched tight in this little hoop and then I'm going to go and I'm going to cut around and cut off the excess as much as close as I can to the to the edge right here. I'm going to cut it as tight as I can and then on the front I have something fun. So then on the front I'm going to show two options. So I, we're doing a craft day for church so I'm going to give options for the fall and options for the for Christmas. So the first one is this thank thankful sign. So I might leave it in this unfinished wood and have it match the unfinished hoop. But I also might stain both of them or vice versa. I don't know. I haven't decided. But I'm just going to glue this on. I also thought about doing this one in spray painting it in like galvanized metal look. My phone's going crazy. Who is that? Yeah. Anyway. So that's one option. So that one's kind of cute. Oh, my shadows are kind of making it hard to see it. All right, so here's the second option. I have this Joy to the World wooden decal that can go on there as well. And then you can add like ribbon and bows and all that kind of stuff. I like to kind of keep mine simplistic, but that's what I'm doing here. You could do any kind of fabric. So I have like a, I don't even know what this is. It's almost like a canvas type. That would be kind of pretty as well because then you pull it tight. I would, the, if I was doing this canvasy one, I would definitely like paint this one a bright red or a bright green or even like a black or something, depending on your colors that you decorate for Christmas. <laughs> but so you can do any kind of fabric here in the middle. I just did it because I have a ton of burlap, so it'll be a cheap option. So, another thing that I might do if I have time here, I need to get the drill out, but I might turn these ones into ornaments. So I might like paint the front side of it like chalk paint or white and then draw like Christmas trees or joy or something. So I might do that if I have some time. One of the projects I want to do is nail art, but I worry that this wood is kind of brittle. Maybe it's soft. I don't know. Um, 
that if I'm nailing into it, it'll break apart. But that's my other option. I'm also watching Father Brown on Netflix. <laughs> this is what I do. This is like an overview of what it looks like when I'm doing a craft day. Like seriously, like there are so many. Oh, you can't see that one. That one's coming in in a tutorial. But like got my craft supplies, got wipes, just got the mail. So I've got all sorts of stuff going on over here. All right, Chelsea's still trying to recover. She's into the phase of like being really tired. So she's no longer like contagious. And she's watching this really cool show. Is it on Netflix or is it on TV? It's on oh, here, I'll tell you about it in just one second because Abby wants to go. I don't catch this one home very often. <laughs> she's out with her friends, right? Uh -huh. And you're going back out to like a neighborhood party? Yeah. One neighborhood over? Yeah. And so there, you're having pizza. You're not needing dinner here at home? No. All right. Um, check in, just check in with me later and I'll give you a time to come home. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so Chelsea watches this. We've actually watched a couple episodes. We watched two this morning. It's on YouTube, not on Netflix. Okay, so look at this. This dude has like made his own house. He like gets bamboo and he like wraps it and ties it with string and then makes his own cement and then colors the cement no, so and what he does is he takes a bunch of dirt so he takes a bunch of dirt and then he like pours water in it and then like stomps in it and it, the sound is not satisfying no she doesn't she has a high gag reflex Ugh. so he makes these little water troughs we watched one this morning i hope they, they go to something different here all right so he, this is his place i guess he's got like his own little tub up there oh my gosh that's so funny um so he's done a swimming pool, a kitty house, a doggy house, and he builds like little water troughs and puts fish in them. Yeah. And like doggy runs. Yeah, I'll show you another one. Anyway, he must be like just making sure that this is all like waterproofed or something. Anyway, I haven't like sat down to like figure out where this guy actually lives. I mean, he could like be in like Africa or something and or in the Philippines and like truly like living on the land and he makes all this stuff. It's pretty cool. He's done like a dog house because he rescues dogs and, and, cats. and cats and he, like, rescues yeah, it's it. pretty cool. Okay, so Ashley, are you coming to do your painting? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're just gonna go get our craft on, turn on Netflix. Jason will be done with work in like an hour, but um, he might have interviews to do tonight, so. I'm just occupying myself on this lovely fall Friday night. It's cold outside, starting to chill off. It's supposed to rain the rest of the weekend and into next week. So it's kind of nice to like hunker down and start to craft, right Ashley? Yeah. All right, you gotta get your paint all set up and go outside. Yeah. Yeah, cause she's, that stick is, <laughs> she's not painting that stick in here. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, so never. let's get your paint on the plate, okay? Never gonna all right, so we're just gonna get her a couple Some. paint colors. There's she. I don't like the moon. And. I don't know if this one. Okay, this is why my kids need to remember you store them upside down. I do. No, you don't, because that one won't come out. Well, but I. They don't get much of each color. Yeah. So we don't waste paint. Is that enough? Yep, that's funny. Alright, so we've got all of her colors lined up here. Not all. She's got to put all these back in. Well, you have so and you got to put them face cool. down so that they're easy to pour out, okay? Yeah. Got to teach them young. You guys having fun? Yeah. You're doing your steak now? Yeah. Cool. Ashley, how? I'm oh, trying to make little dots of yellow. Oh, little polka dots? Yeah, I'm going to put like it's little cute. stars. You have to kind of wait for it to dry just a little bit. I don't know like what to do with the rest. And you do the polka dot with the end of your paintbrush. Yeah. Okay. Did you know that? Watch this. No, I wouldn't do like little stars like that. I know, but look. So you take your paint like that. And dab it. See the polka dots? Okay. Wipe that off. Yeah, you wipe it off and then you wait for that to dry it's and then you can one. add. I can do it for that one. Yeah. Like... Yeah. But... All right, so I'm going to show you the progress. I painted some of these wood rounds. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them. I ran out of black. 
and I wish I could do one like more chalkboard style. And then I painted this guy red. I thought that looks really good against the burlap. And then I kind of added a little black and white checkered bow and this little tag that I have. It's actually got gold polka dots on the back side of it. It's kind of fun, but I just wanted the plane on that side. It actually has a little rivet on it right there. So and then, anyway, that's what the, ignore my kids, you know, being crabby in the background. So that's the Christmas one, but then it can completely change into a Thanksgiving one or, you know, just a fall one. Super easy. So I would just glue that on and then it'll, cut, it'll pop off of the burlap really easy in order to put the other one on. I'm kind of whispering because it's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm waking up. I got to drive down to Portland. I'm going to a shoe show. And I think about a year ago, I filmed that, but it's not very exciting. <laughs> Maybe I'll have some video from it, but um, that's where I'm headed. Dana and the kids are doing their Sunday. I'll be back later this evening. So that's what I'm doing today. Hey guys. Welcome back. I'm <clears throat> not the first, I am the first one awake after Jason, but I'm slowly waking up two of the kids. Um, Chelsea is not going to go to church today because she's still feeling kind of achy, leftover. Sorry, I'm trying to dump something in the back. garbage. It didn't work out so well. Um, I forgot to end the video yesterday. Like the day part stuff that we did, I just kind of got caught up working on the craft projects and then I had to make dinner for one person at a time. Like Chelsea wasn't home and then she was home like an hour and a half after I got Ashley food. And so kind of just got distracted with like life. And then when I was, you know, kind of settling down for the night and um, was watching TV and stuff after I put the kids to bed is when the thunderstorm hit and uh, it was super cool. I'm, I love thunderstorms. We don't get them here very often. Just, I think the, I don't know, it just doesn't happen very often. So sometimes we'll get like one or two lightning bursts and stuff, but it went on for like a good two hours. So it was kind of cool. Um, it wasn't cool that the kids stayed up because <laughs> it kept waking them up, but it is kind of cool to listen to. But uh, normally I don't take you guys around on our Sunday, but if we do anything, <laughs> just kind of hanging out together. I'll bring you along just because I don't have very much footage from yesterday. And um, it'll be an inside kind of Sunday, family kind of day today, especially with Jason being gone. So let's see if we have anything extra, I'll add it in here today. Like Jason said, he went down to Portland and he does this little annual shoe show down there. He goes to look at the new shoes that are coming out for like a whole season ahead. So he's probably looking at um, fall 2021. Um, 
and he does pre-orders for those at pretty big discounts if he does like multiple orders so that's what he's doing right now and sometimes we go with him sometimes we don't this year with school it just didn't work out that we went with him so he's just going down for one day so all right i'm gonna get the kids ready for church we have 25 minutes <laughs> to get them out the door and they haven't come down yet so <sighs> mom life on a sunday it's not too different than mom life on a regular day except I've been up for an hour and a half getting myself ready so let's get them ready all right you guys I underestimated anything that we would do today because that was absolutely nothing I watched the Seahawk game took an hour nap and now I'm making dinner here in the kitchen I've just deboned um, my chicken from the other day and all the meat I'm gonna cut that all up and then I'm gonna put these bones into my crock pot. Actually, I wanna get like all those little bits of fat in there. Um, I'm gonna let this cook in my crock pot for probably 24 to probably 24 hours. The longer it goes, the better. So that I have broth ready to go in I'm hoping to be able to use it fresh on Tuesday I'm making Hawaiian haystacks right now and that will feed us tomorrow night as well so if I cook this broth overnight I can put it in the fridge and make chicken noodle soup on Tuesday because it's still gonna be rainy and kind of chilly so I thought I would kind of get ahead of the school germs and start making some chicken noodle soup so Ashley do you want to say good night to everyone You want to say goodnight? Wait, can I have your phone? No, you can have my phone. My kids are addicted to electronics. And thus, Abby on the couch over there. So Jason's on his way home from Portland. And you can play. You can play upstairs. They're upset they can't play with friends. We don't play with friends on Sunday. So they need to learn to play with each other, which they usually do. Usually this isn't a fight. So gonna sign off tonight kind of did a dual day and we'll pick up tomorrow if I do anything interesting I don't know we'll just kind of see I'm so far ahead that I can kind of pick and choose what days I want to film this girl doesn't realize that she's not gonna get to have the snack she's looking for because I'm making dinner so I'm gonna check out here so that I can go check in with her and get her dinner ready because she won't eat this. So, life of a kid, right? She's giving me evil eye. Take care, guys. If you're new, subscribe and come back for more. Bye.